Hey, what's up, Dragon Brew? Today, we're gonna have some fun trying to double up a bunch of triggers, and we're gonna be doing that by way of playing Ishin. We've played this card on the channel before and had some really good luck with it, so I wanted to build a new version with some of the new cards that have some attack triggers and see if we can make it work. Now, for those who don't know what Ishin Two Heavens is one is, it's actually a three mana, three, four, which is actually pretty solid. It is three colors, and if you have a creature attack that triggers the ability of a permanent you control, it triggers an additional time. Which So anything we have that triggers when we attack, we get it multiple times, which should be a good thing. Now, before we get into this, there are a couple of cards we opted not to play. The first is Squee, and I think Squee is actually a good card to have here, being able to make two creatures a turn. I think the problem here is we were going to end up, as I put the deck together, we were playing a bunch of humans, so I opted to just have more humans in there and lands to support that. So because of that, Squee didn't make the cut, but I do think it is a totally reasonable option. I almost went with Thundering Raiju as well, but kind of had that same problem. The idea of Raiju getting to trigger twice, either putting the two counters and or doing the two damage, or the extra damage each turn would be pretty cool, but we didn't have that many things that were gonna put counters on themselves. So I didn't know how much I were gonna get out of this. I do like having haste creatures. However, I made some changes to the list that we will talk about as I kind of develop this, and there wasn't room for this guy. And there is one more interesting one that I almost went with as well, which was Kessig Naturalist. This allows us to get extra mana that could ramp us up, but as I started messing with myself, I came across a kind of more interesting idea here that we'll talk about in the same slot that could help us ramp up as well. So that aside, let's talk about the cards we are actually playing. We're going to start with four Lunark Veteran. Uh, this is mostly here because we have a couple of things going to make some one ones and we might get a little extra life off of it. Maybe we play it out of the graveyard. Not a lot, really, but I mean, there weren't a lot of good quality one mana things to play here that I wanted. So this worked out. Kellen was an obvious include. It's a two mana, two, three. We do have the mana that we can actually use the map tokens periodically, so that's good. But just getting to trigger and like reload our hand twice could be really good. The other thing here, too, I wanted to point out is that when you're building a deck like this, you don't want everything to be just about Ishin. You need the cards to be good on their own as well. And then when you have Ishin, you get an extra ability. But here we decided to play Thalia because we're going to be playing mostly creatures, so why not? Might as well. Inti, because again, you get to attack, you get to discard twice, put some cards or tokens on things, maybe get access to more cards. So between Ishin and Kellen, hopefully we'll get to see a lot of extra cards and keep the train going. And this is the reason we didn't play the Naturalist in the end. I decided to play Ruby Daring Tracker. Mostly it has haste, it can make mana right when it comes out, so sometimes can allow us to play like two things in a turn because we have so many two mana things. But additionally, it could get its attack trigger twice because whenever Ruby attacks, if you have something that's four or greater and we will possibly have a few things that are, well, you just get two triggers. So then Ruby gets to be a big five power attacker. So we'll see how many times that works out. Adeline obviously has an attack trigger making tokens as does Adam Pakal getting bigger and getting tokens, which is really nice. Uh, and that leads us to playing Mondrak. And I kind of debated this quite a bit because it's not a human is why we eliminated some other cards. However, it is legendary and the ability is good enough that I think it's worth it. And because there's another card I like to play in these colors and that's Arlen. And one of Arlen's things is actually be able to make two wolves. So if we can make additional wolves, that's kind of an extra bonus. And really the Arlen Mondrak situation is kind of a concession to some of the control decks, which is the reason I sort of wanted Squee and sort of wanted Raiju. But Beyond that, these are going to be what we're going with. We are also going to play three copies of Roaming Throne because most of our things are humans. And if we can trigger all those things multiple times, great. I mean, if we're in that situation, we're probably winning. So this might be overkill. I did end up with one spot left after deck building before I got to the 60 cards. So I decided to play one Sun Gold Sentinel. This is a card we've sort of, as a community, forgot about and quit playing. But it is a human. It does have an ET. Well, not in. Well, it does have an ETP, but also has an attack trigger, and we can get it through. Possibly making it unblockable. We can remove stuff from opponent's graveyard. It is only a one up, so I don't expect to see it a lot. I don't even know if it'll come up in this video. Those are the cards we're going to be playing today. If you want the full deck list, it'll be at the end of the video. We'll possibly make some changes based on how the games go. Y'all know the drill. But if you want to download it, if you go down in the description, there'll be some blue arrows pointing right at it. It'll take you to our Moxfield link where you can get this deck list and a bunch of other sweet stuff to play in standard. So with all that being said, let's go see if Ishin and all these human legends can get the job done. 
If you want to buy any cards for today's deck or any other game stuff, remember to go to CoolStuffInc.com. You can use code DRAGON. That'll save you 5% at checkout. And Cool Stuff Inc. always has cool stuff in stock. You know, this is all right. We can play Courtyard on Human and then play Thalia or Inti, whatever we think is... Oh, it's funny. I was thinking about if we were going to draw the Sun Gold Sentinel and it was the first card we drew. Look at that. I don't know if this matchup's where it's going to matter, so we may not really get to see it shine at all here. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to go Thalia against a Esper deck here. Now, if it's like Esper Legends, it's not going to be good. If they just drop like Rafine or something, that's going to be a little tough. I mean, if they can... Oh, I thought they might just try to kill Thalia here, but they're they're doing no such thing. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to get a mountain. Well, okay. I was doing that as a concession in case I drew, uh, what's her name? Arlen, but that takes care of that problem. Yeah, I'm going to go and just Anim Pakal here, I guess. All right, opponent's at 15. I mean, as long as Thalia's out, we're not really getting wrecked here. They can't Wandering Emperor. I mean, yeah, I guess we attack. I mean, I kind of want to play Inti here, but I also don't want to commit to the board. Whatever I get, I wouldn't be casting anyway. So, yeah, this is kind of what... They flash something in. They flash something in, I guess. I mean, I guess they could Igonjo Thalia, which would suck. That'd be disappointing. That might be what's about to happen. Oh, no, it's an Urtai. Well, that's kind of the same thing. Yeah, that doesn't bother us that much, really. Um, I can't play that because it's a spirit unless I put that into play. Hmm. Opponent's at nine. Trying to think, like, do I get a benefit of playing Inti to give Anim Pakal Trample in two counters? Or is the opponent just going to try to sweep the board? I think I'm just going to... Alright, I'm just going to play this. And go here. I mean, they might just Wandering Emperor Anim Pakal anyway. And there's not anything I'm going to be able to do about it. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. They're just going to Sunfall. All right. I mean, if it's just... It's got to be Sunfall, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Playing Sunfall and Urtai. Blech. Gross. All right. Well, is what it is. Let's go ahead and play... Hmm. I'm trying to figure out just, like, how much do I want to spend here? Go here. I mean, they gotta have another sweeper or something, right? All right. Why not? Move that in case there's some way you can reuse it. These are why the exact matchups. So why I put Arlen in here, right? Because having Arlen would be so much better than what we're doing right now. There's a farewell. They didn't want to remove graveyards, which is interesting. Uh, all right, I'm going to go here. And we maybe we get something off the top. Oh, they had a Chamil. Oh, gosh. What is that? Oh, Devious Cover-Up. All right. Okay, well, let's hope. I mean, if they have it, we're going to die anyway. So let's see what happens. All right, opponents at one. I mean, we did what we could. Another sweeper? I don't think they have it, y'all. They don't have it. Do we for real? Oh, did we for real do the thing? Against two major sweepers there, a Sunfall and a Farewell? I think that's it. Because even a Wandering Emperor is not good enough here. Yeah, that doesn't even matter. Like, sure... Uh, do I even care? Yeah, there you go. All right, good start. How sweet is that? 
like literally was just Mondrak, then played Adeline into Ishin to get four counters and put the opponent down to one and just close the game out. Like after having the board swept twice, gotta love it. All right, so we got Lunark Veteran. All right, let's keep it. We can't Veteran into Ruby, so we're probably just Veteran into Thalia. Oh, actually, maybe we can now if we want to. All right, I'll put this on Human. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna play Thalia, but in case we change our mind, I want the option there. I don't think it's gonna change, but you never know. Oh, is our little Lunark veteran dead? Nope, opponent's saving some mana. All right. Well, we'll make you spend it now. I guess I should have attacked first. Oh, nope, they, they didn't want to spend it. I was thinking I probably should have attacked first, just to make sure we got our point of damage in. But we'll see. They might save that just to kill Thali, depending on what type of deck they're playing here. Windblade, guys. Ooh. We do not like that. That is a real problem. Because I'm pretty sure they have a way to protect that. Which makes us sad. Hmm. So if we believe they can protect it, do we just give up the Thalia? Actually, no, they can't. They can't protect it if they have that, because Thalia is making it where they can't cast a spell. Yeah, of course. We attack with these. So they can trade with Thalia or trade with Ruby. Is their call. Alright, fair enough. I only have a couple of creature lanes, too. I'm thinking playing one of the red-white ones and one of the uh, green-white ones. Alright. Get you some treasure. You got all the mana you need to do all the stuff you want, opponent. I'm not sure how we're going to beat this deck unless we get some of our token makers. Because we need to do way more damage or gain way more life than we're doing right now. Uh, this is not conducive to, to winning <laughs> at the moment. Oh no, we keep drawing lands and things we don't need. Oh, we have so many things that would be great right now. Ah, oh, boy. What can we even do here? I mean, we can play Ishin, but, like, then what, you know? Hmm. I mean, I can keep plaza of heroes up to protect something, maybe? See how the opponent feels about it, attacking with Thalia? Yeah, if the opponent gets the right spells, I feel like we're just getting dusted on the next couple turns. Our draws are not good here. All right. I don't know what we need next turn, but we need it to be good, whatever it is. I mean, honestly, we kind of need an Adeline here. At least get two tokens. Oh, Bone Horde Dracosaur. Yeah, opponent's going to eat our lunch now. Because we don't have any of our big creatures out. Yeah, you got it, fam. And it's gonna just come over now. Like, not a lot we can do. I mean, all we can do is double block it. I mean, they kill off Ishin, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was gonna be the answer, but... I mean, we have another Ishin, but that's not really doing much here. Oh, we drew a third one. Oh, gosh. That sucks. Yeah, we're in pretty bad shape now. Dang it. Yeah, we're just not getting out of this. We got a 3-1. Yeah, it's got double strike. Just come on, opponent. <laughs> Hit us for 12. What is that of our misery? 
Oh, you got even more answers? Sure, more treasure, why not? I mean, I guess it's just 10 instead of 12 since I couldn't pay the extra one. But we're still wrecked, right? I mean, Adeline, you're, you're a bit late, friend. I don't know if you're going to be able to help us here. The good news is we'll gain one, two, three. We'll be at 15. We'll get to attack with Ruby. Uh, hmm. If I pump the, activate the land, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, but they block two of them. That's nah, not any better. All right. Just had to do a quick check there, just in case. Okay. I mean, we're attacking. Hopefully not dying. If they attack, well, no matter what, they could have the dragon just be 12. Adeline could block something, so, but we're going to gain two more, be it 15. But they can also activate a creature land. Ah, oh, man, we are risking a lot here. All right, attacking with this, with this. I mean, I could leave Thalia back to try to first strike something. This doesn't do much if it attacks. All right, maybe these are just what I'm leaving back here. See if that's enough. Ruby is going to trigger twice, since we have Adeline. Okay, we're at 15, so that might discourage the opponent from even attacking. That's like, because I gotta block something here anyway, or they would die. Yep, they're gonna take six, go to eight. Oh, they do have some mana available. Oh, they thought about it for a second. Chose not to use it. Okay, they're at eight. I could just play another Ishin and have another blocker. Just trying to see if that's necessary. This would be 12. I mean, you know what? Maybe it is. Let's go ahead and do it. And we get a point of life out of it. So it's not the worst thing. So we go to 16. We have three blockers now. We have... Technically, at least two really big attackers that could keep the opponent back. They're at eight. We do get to possibly use our Prairie. We could also... Well, it wouldn't have a card to discard, and so I could draw Inti to give something Trample, but it wouldn't have a card in hand. Opponent has a lot of mana and a lot of cards, though, y'all. Let's see what happens. Even if we lose, I'm just glad we were able to get it this close. Because this looked like the opponent was going to run away with this. With that opener where we drew like three Ishins and a bunch of lands. Cool to see though that Ruby did work out the way we wanted to. So that's pretty nice. You're thinking about activating their creature land. I wonder if it's about getting the Bone Horde Dracosaur as big as possible. Because they can plus it for one, so that's six. They can put another one on it, that's seven. So that's 14. If they could even put in... Oh, no! Oh, do they have enough? That's going to make it seven with both of those. Oh, they didn't put it on the... Oh, you can only put one on there anyway. All right. Are we dead? All right, we're not dead yet. Maybe we need an Anapa call as well. Get even more tokens to gain even more life. And get more attackers. I'm trying to think like what we could get. Oh, actually, or... Well, no. This is a case where I was thinking for a second that... The Roaming Throne would be better. Well, Roaming Throne would give us an extra round of tokens, though. Ah, uh, with Ishin, that's four. Actually, that would work, too. Actually, we do have a lot of outs here. Opponent also has six mana still, so they can make a pile of blockers. Yeah, we probably are going to need Roaming Throne or Anapakal. Kellen, I was I was not looking for you. Um, Man, the opponent can block three things now. Yeah, I think this is just going to do it, y'all. 
because I need at least four to activate this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, okay. Let's assume one, two, three, four. We'll call this four gets blocked. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that eight exactly getting through? All right. I think it's our only play. We kind of got to go for it. I mean, if the opponent has some mana to kill things or whatever, then it, it is what it is. Actually, no, it's more than that if Adonine lives because we get two triggers. Oh, this is going to be gross. I don't know what spells they're playing. Like this, I, this could go any which way, depending on what's in their hand. All right. Oh, I forgot. Restless Prey triggers twice, too. Never mind. We're good. We're good. It's a And I had that in here for that. Both this one and the red-white one have uh, attack triggers. All right. I think we might have got there, y'all, with a bunch of 3-3s. Three -three oh, wow. They're giving us the GGs. I mean, they're still going to go through the motions and make blockers, but... Oh, my goodness. This looked like we had no shot at winning at one point. Yeah, I assume, again, they block all of our biggest things. And then we have way more than enough. Wow. Oh, my goodness, that was close. I think even playing Ishin as a blocker kept them from being able to attack and get us for lethal last turn, too. Wow, that was a good game. Good game, Wick. Okay, we get to go first. We got a roaming throne and an Arlen. All right, so this game's definitely going to play different than uh, what we've been doing so far. Kind of really, really want Ruby to live so we can stick an Arlen. I don't think it's going to happen, but I would like that. Oh, against Mono Red, no chance. Actually, it's not true. Sometimes they play, like, two mana things on the next turn. Uh, yeah, might as well attack. Honestly, attacking here also discourages them from wanting to kill our Ruby. So if they have, like... Oh, I was not expecting that. Okay, well, opponent's hand is super aggressive here. <laughs> um, Wow, that's a problem. That is a real problem. All right, let's do this. We'll make two bodies, and maybe that'll draw attention from the opponent. They'll just be like, hey, you know what? Let's attack your Arlen. We don't want you to have the Arlen. And I would be like, okay, fair. And then we have to either get to play another Arlen or do other things. Opponent is just like, F it. We're just coming at your face. They must have a handful of, like, rages and other things. Okay. How do we get... Sadly, we kind of have to play Anim Pakal first if we want that bonus. Or we can play Roaming Throne here and attack for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then have the opponent facing lethal next turn. Especially with Ishin. Oh boy, this is a, a decision, actually. But if I plus one, I get Anim Pakal, and then I get two tokens anyway. So, you know what? I'm going to go Roaming Throne here. I think that's what I'm going to do. And call human. And just say, if you get me, you get me. All right. Invasion of Ragatha. That deals four. That doesn't kill us. And the opponent has no blockers here. That's game, folks. That is game. A bunch of different ways. Yeah. All right. Woo. Oh, man. We have to mulligan this one. Unfortunately, just no one or two mana plays. We can't, we can't keep that. Oh, this is not much better. Oh, this is actually worse. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep this, get rid of Ishin, and hope we draw something good off the top. This one might just be a brutal loss, y'all. Oh, not looking good. Not looking good. <laughs> 
I mean, we've had some good games at this point. I can't be too upset if we lose this. Fortunately, we have a bunch of creatures, so Thalia doesn't really matter to us. Uh, yeah, this is sad. Because I have a feeling even when we play Ishin, it's probably going to get stolen by a Brutal Cathar or something. Good news is, though, we can play Mondrak on time. I mean, that may matter. The opponent could also have missed lands here, too. But if they don't play any, that means they're holding on to much larger things, and that's actually kind of scarier. Yep. You got it. Man, where have you been? Um... Yeah, I don't think this matters great. I think we're just playing this just to have a blocker. I mean, obviously, opponent could still have ossification, could still have destroy evil or whatever, but we play that into Mondrak, and then we just see what happens. Maybe draw, like, Anipakal or Adeline with our veteran. Ah, there he is. That's the dude we were expecting. Hopefully they only have one of them. Because if not, I don't know how the hell we're going to win. Because we didn't play anything till turn three, which is not what this deck is good at doing. <laughs> also, if we get low enough, I mean, we only have white creatures right now, which would let... Bro, oh my gosh. <laughs> We've only drawn lands... And the Lunark veteran. We need Mondrag to live, and we need to find one of our creatures that makes tokens next turn. This is literally the game here, I think. Because if we don't get that, I don't see how we can win. Like, we we generally need Mondrag to not die here. This has been the slowest hand we've had so far. And if it's another Brutal Cathar, game's just over. Looks like it might be. Oh no, why are we highlighting their Cathar? What are we doing? Oh, they might also pass to flip it and then play two things next turn, too. Pretty gross, but a real play. Oh no, they're just going to Knight Errant. Ooh, please don't find one? I mean, I guess they'd have to play it next turn. Only a Spellbook Vendor. Okay. I mean, I say only, but I mean, you know. Oh gosh, why? <laughs> why? I I we can't win now, right? I don't know a world where this where we get out of trouble. I mean, we play this, I'll play the plaza so we can at least keep Mondrak from getting taken. But yeah, I don't know what else we do. I mean, we literally have no no spells in hand. We've drawn one non-land spell, the one land card this game, and it was Lunark Veteran. I, yeah, you got it, opponent. I mean, and unfortunately, I have to block now, or I die. So that's not even a, a question anymore. I mean, I was gonna say you might as well put the counter on the Lunark Veteran. I mean, the not that on the Brutal Cathar, I meant. Because now I'm assuming this means you're not attacking with Cathar. And attacking with those two. I would say you have to attack for enough to at least be lethal. You gotta at least pretend. Alright. So now I have to give up the Lunark Veteran, which is gonna make it very hard to stay alive. What am I looking to try to kill here? I mean, I can kill a Spellbook Vendor. Block 5, take 7, 10? I mean, is that the play? I mean, if I do this, and let's say I draw something like Arlen, and I make three tokens, does that keep us alive? Being at two. Probably not. But I mean, I guess we still gotta do it. I mean, I could play a land, and I could play the veteran again. Uh, maybe. Alright. Let's try it. Arlen might be our only potential real out here. And it's not even a real out, it's just to not die. <laughs> like, that's 
<laughs> so it, I don't even think that necessarily does it. Nope, Ishin, you ain't it. Oh my gosh, that was a pretty rough game, y'all. That was rough. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit tight, but I like it. Keep it. I mean, we get to go Lunark Veteran into a Thalia. If Thalia dies, we don't care that much. Thalia could be very good in this matchup because it's just domain control. But we're going to need to do something other than just Thalia to kind of keep the ball moving. Uh, deck, I would like to draw a land, though. I don't need all these Lunark Veterans. They don't help in this fight when your opponent's plan is to Sunfall. In case you were wondering... Oh, well, maybe that's not what this deck is, after all. Alright, something to kill Arthalia? No. Huh. I'm curious what the opponent's doing. I, I'm gonna attack with Thalia anyway. I don't, I can't think, I mean, you flash something in and you block with her, I guess. Whatever. Alright, they didn't have anything. I almost didn't attack with Thalia to not put her at risk for a turn, but I couldn't think of what they would even do there. No Brotherhoods and even? What's happening right now? Um. I mean, play another Lunark veteran? Do I just play Kellen? Just cuz? Let's see what happens during this combat. All right, nothing. I mean, I guess we don't do any. I uh, not true. I'll go ahead and just make the uh, map. Union, dang it! All right, that's tough. Another union. All right, so they're at nineteen. I don't think we can do nineteen without drawing one of our doublers. That is not one of them. Hmm. See if we can put a counter on that. You can definitely stay on top. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I can make it fifteen, sixteen. Nah, not worth it. Uh, yeah, we just attack, I guess. I mean, my assumption is they're just going to land Sunfall next turn. Good news is, had I played Kellen, still wouldn't have been enough. We'd be short a point here, so. I mean, but opponent would be at one and not three, so there is that. But they didn't even have that, so we still get the win. Yeah, no clue what deck this was. I was thinking it might have been uh, Arcane Bombardment or something, but we only saw those. And I'm assuming the rest was Sweepers that Thalia just turned off, so... Yay us, I guess. Oh, we get to go first. Uh, you know what? I need to draw double white. You know what, though? I'm going to keep this just to see what happens. There's sometimes I do this in a video where, like, it's a hand that I would usually mulligan. But, you know, for entertainment purposes, y'all get to watch me play this one out. And I think I might still ruby on two to see if maybe we could stick a roaming throne on the next turn. Oh gosh, we we need Ruby to stick because we did not find a white land. Yeah, I guess we'll attack. Why not? Man, the best thing for us would be if they just played like Thalia here. <laughs> that would help so much. Wow, not doing anything and just saying, we're going to get in and give you some poison. How do you like that? Oh, because we're just doing the straight-up poison thing. Fair enough. Oh, see, now this is a little tough, because I now I might get to... Yeah. Hmm. You know, I am going to do this, because we definitely want to play Adeline if we get the opportunity next turn. But here, we're just going to Roaming Throne. And if not, we can still play Sun Gold Sentinel... Actually, no, we can't play Sun Gold Sentinel, because that's not a legendary. So we're still just going to be able to play Enti and discard then. 
Leave my roaming throne alone. It's got ward too. You don't have enough mana. Stop. Though they could see if we're going to be ballsy and block their jawbone duelist, which we're not. <laughs> they could get some free poison right now. If they want to juice up that jawbone duelist. Yep. I appreciate what you're doing, opponent. I really do. Because I 100% do not want to block that guy. What are they pumping with, though? Like, that's the real question. Like, are, are they just playing things to keep it alive? Oh, it's probably like the random thing that gives it like plus two, plus two. But even then, we'd just be trading, right? Uh oh. They're going to juice it up before attacking? I mean, why would you even do that and make it white, Mike? It's an artifact. Yeah, I think they realized that after the fact. Because I'm like, what's going on right now? Like, that seemed real suspicious. And they're playing Virtuoso. I, there is all kinds of things going down right now. This is concerning on so many levels. Uh, Wow, do we just play another Roaming Throne? It's a little bit crazy, but if it stonewalls their team, I mean, I, I guess that's what we do. Human? No need to attack there. Now, we could die to damage from the Virtuoso. So that is a real thing we have to pay attention to. We are hoping to get another white land here untapped so we can play Adeline. That would be huge. Adeline into Enti would be pretty sweet. Then we get to attack with a big ruby. We have a backup ruby. That kind of counts. Let's do this. And then I'm going to attack with ruby. Probably just discarding a ruby. We'll at least get to trample past a Virtuoso. Oh, no. They have some way to kill an NT here. There we go. Now we're seeing the spells. Now we're seeing some spells. Still might attack here. Yeah, you gotta have something. We just gotta see what it is. All right, block and protect. What I'm assuming is about to happen here. No, not even a protection spell is up. Wow. Oh man. Uh. Huh. Okay. Three cards left. Is there any way this goes sideways? I mean, maybe do we just play the other ruby? I mean, yeah, I guess. All right. I'm just going to make sure I have another blocker, and then just... I don't know why. <laughs> like, this has been absolutely crazy, having cards in we can't even cast. And we're still not in a terrible position here. But man, if we get Adeline, and we get to attack, and we get three creatures to turn, uh, again... Okay, you're going to make me not be able to block with red. Sure... I assume you're going to pump that thing up somehow. Yeah? Got another one? Nope, we're just trading. Got it. Totally reasonable. I can live with that. Kill our ruby. Seems fair. All right, come on, Dak. We waited forever for an untapped white land. You got to help us out. There we go. There we go. Now we get to start pressing the issue. All right, opponent's at nine, and we are nowhere near under threat of dying. Even if they had the give that thing plus two, plus two, lifelink, whatever... We're still attacking for a ton next turn. And we could remove it from the graveyard, so they'll only get one use of it. Uh, Angel Fire, I think is the card I'm thinking of. Alright, they're manually tapping, though, so they might have a couple of plays here. 
Twin Blade Geist, double strikes. Blade could be somewhat annoying, depending on what the last card is. Another Lightning Strike to block Adeline would be kind of gross. Find an Ishin. Oh, so good. Uh, oh, I have to tap both of those, huh? No, I don't. Yeah, I do. I can get red and I need white, black. All right, whatever. Here come a bajillion tokens. Yep, income an opponent. Yep, you do what you're going to do. Yeah, that's not nearly enough. I mean, they'll stay alive here, but they're going to have to give up at least two of their creatures. And you can block a 1-1 one -one and not die. But knowing what's in their hand, they're just dead next turn. All right. They only gave up one creature. I was wrong. It was not two creatures. But, I mean, if they draw a land, they just play loyalty. Otherwise, they play a creature, and they're still at two. And one of their bodies doesn't even block. Yet, somehow, not being able to even play some cards, just roaming thrones. Actually, roaming thrones being artifacts are the reason we were able to stay in this game. Because we could have got poisoned out from Skrelv just having their duelist dealing double damage, but... That ended up never being a thing, actually. Yeah, that's still not going to do it, opponent. There's a minimum of three getting through right now. All right. I think we're just going to attack and save time here. Not even going to crack those maps. Okay, awesome. Okay, let's keep it. I think the plan here might be just Kellen on two. And then maybe Ruby Inti. And then see what happens. Going with some vampire action. Cool. Ooh, I say that. Thali is kind of nice here. All right. Thought I was going to do something else, but Thalia being able to slow down like a uh, Liliana or anything like that is kind of sweet. And then we can still play. I mean, I guess I can get rid of it with the Harvester. Oh, they didn't find the mana they needed, though. Okay, so we can now give them a choice of what to get rid of. No, we're not. We're going to play this. Kind of curious what they're leaving mana open for here just yet. And then I'm going to go and do this. Give them some options, see what's going on. Decide how you want to spin that removal, if it is a cut down. I'm probably discarding Kellen. I'm going to say that very tentatively. All right, Black Leaf Cliffs, nah. That's actually a safe one to lose here. All right, what you want to do, opponent? All right, they need to kill Thalia so they can spend probably their go for the throats or whatever here. Nope, they're just going to play another Harvester. Cool. So, we kind of have to play these in an order we're willing to let stuff die, effectively. So, let's do this. And... And do I actually want to get rid of Mondrak here? With them stuck on land, they're not... I, mean, I would have to stack these, because this is a trigger trigger. This gets... Uh, there is a way. I just don't know if Arena will allow me to stack these correctly because I want this to stack first. 
this second, this third, so this resolves first. I think. Let me see how my stuff is set here. Auto order triggers is off. Auto choose auto replacement effects. So I should be able to stack these. No, I definitely don't want to concede. All right. Oh, it didn't do it. I thought it was going to. Crap. It didn't do what I wanted. That sucks. All right. Well, they're going to get to block Ruby with no punishment here. That sucks. I should have just attacked with NT to be safe. I thought because they triggered. Oh, I guess it's just when she attacks, you have to already have it. So, all right. That's on me. A little bit of a dumb mistake, but if they sack and kill Adeline, that's still kind of mostly fine, I guess. All right. Go to taxis. Oh, you got something to kill an Ishin. Fair enough. All right. We'll get rid of this because we don't really need it. Might as well juice it. Oh, and Impacall, you would have been great. You'd have been real great. Well, now they got to go start digging for land. They're thinking about it. I saw them highlight their uh, blood tokens. Yep. You find one? Now crack the other one and go digging. All right. Oh, Jeebus. Okay, well... Uh, might as well submit, and I'm just going to put this on the 1-1. One, one. Alright, they're at 5. I don't know how this is going to end. Uh, we can still sack two things and protect the Mondrak. So yeah, we're going to win this one. It wasn't much of a game. I mean, they started out with some removal, and that's probably why they kept it. Our hand didn't do a lot, but it kind of is doing enough. You know, it's kind of the only way to look at it here. Uh, we don't... We have Restless Bivouac. Yeah. All right. That'll be more than enough to put things away. Yep. All right. Yeah, y'all, the way that played out, I think the only thing I want to change here is probably cutting one of the copper line gorge because we don't have that many we have 15 red things but we do have a lot of red lands because everything we have there is a human legend in red so all of our lands especially like cavern of souls plaza those can all trigger that and cast them so my only concern would be having not enough white sources when we do get something like sun gold sentinel as an example but the, even that only happened once so i wouldn't sweat it too much uh, maybe not being able to play Adeline or Mondrak. Uh, you could consider cutting one Copper Line Gorge for an additional planes. That's probably one change I might make. And like I said, I, I'm not afraid to play 61 cards. I've done it many times. I could see myself possibly playing 61 to play another Sun Gold Sentinel. Or if you didn't have enough Roaming Thrones, cut one of those to play another Sentinel. Because I do believe there's still enough Graveyard Things... Uh, enough stuff with flashback, whatever, that occasionally the Sun Gold Sentinels is going to be good, especially against several like the Azorius control matchups, because they do play several flashback things. But overall, let's just run down the list because all of these cards were very good and we got to showcase all of them in the video, which was great. But we had four Lunark Veteran, three Kellen Daring Traveler, one Sun Gold Sentinel, four Thalia Guardian of Thraben, three NT, three Ruby, three Adeline, three Anim Pakal, four Ishin. Two Mondrek, two Arlen, the Pax Hope, which worked out great for us. Three Roaming Throne, which were also fantastic. One Igonjo, a Plains Mountain. Two Black Cleave Cliffs, four Copperline Gorge, one Restless Bivouac, which we got to use. Uh, Razor Verge Thicket and the Restless Prey, which we also got to use. Four Cavern Souls, four Plaza of Heroes, two Secluded Courtyard. And again, you'll be able to download this down below. Just look for the Blue Arrows, the Moxfield link. 
And if you like playing Naya decks, we actually had another one that attacked from so many different angles that was really, really surprisingly good. So I recommend you check that one out next. But that's all I have you for now. We will see you next time.